a quick video on how to um, take apart and clean uh, Nintendo 64, Super Nintendo, basically all cartridge based uh, games like Super Nintendo 64, Genesis, and all that good stuff. So I'm going to show you, first off I'm going to start with Genesis because I want to cover something real quick with Batman Forever. Just hate this case. Okay. Now before I show you the the bit on it, because it's not a normal size. You see these say uh made in Mexico or assembled in Mexico, whatever it says. Uh anything that says that any, any Sega Genesis game that says that will have this kind of uh screw and it uses uh that kind of head, I don't know if, I'm not sure of the technical name of that, but just to prove that it's that kind of, okay, and other supplies you'll need, is of course rubbing alcohol, uh, plastic eraser, and I'll put a link to it. Well, I got this in staples, mm -hmm. and uh, you need Q-tips of course, or cotton swabs, whatever you want to call them. Where is it? I can't see the damn head. Oh, I tightened this one too tight when I cleaned up last night. So I had to no, I can't put one in there. Okay. And now, uh, now you just basically lift it off and just comes right out. Now it's relatively clean because I, so I just cleaned it. It is kind of, kind of get stuck in there, kind of pull up. But as you can tell, these are kind of weird on the side too because they have less pins. Then on the front, that's another way you can tell if it's made in Mexico. Pretty sure all of them have that. But um, I'm not going to use that as a test to clean. Uh, I'll, I'll clean one that I know is probably pretty dirty. Uh, okay, let's, let's do Game Boy Advance because this is... Probably dirty. Well, this might be dirtier. But I'll show you how to do Game Boy Advance. You'll need a tri wing screwdriver. These also take apart like GameCube controllers and whatnot. It's really hard to line it up with these small freaking screws. Especially with the tri wing. Is this one still have a good head on it? Yeah, it does. Because I know one of mine broke because I kind of ran it over. I think this. So I just want to grip it. I have to get one of the other ones. Oh, wait, there it goes. Yeah, it's really finicky to get these out. There it goes. <coughs> Finally. Yeah, those are hard to get because they're so freaking small. I got it. I'll get it out. Yeah, small fingers too. Come on. Come on, Heather. Okay. It's almost out. Okay. I usually have to like slide up on and then I said slide up and then kind of unlocks and you just lift it out and then to put them back you just have to make sure you want oh good this one is 
Kind of dirty. Not real, real dirty since I cleaned them all up, but I'll clean it, I guess. Don't do what I'm doing. I just don't care about taking this while I'm dumping it out. Usually I like to put it on this or something. Like usually I just like kind of put it like that. If it's a game I really care about. Like an expensive one like one of the final fights or something like that. Oh, that would have been bad. Okay. I think I got it. Kind of like a good idea. I'm going to take it because it's kind of... I'll try to do this. Let me sit up. Okay. So all you want to do is just... Oh good, it is dirty. See all that brown crap? That's nasty. I haven't cleaned this one in a while, apparently. I don't know why I play tech in advance. Oh, this is pretty good. I'm going to pick this one. It's the first game I did. Man, can I grab? See, look at that. That's dirty. Okay, so what I like to do is just get it kind of wet like that. Look at how nasty it is. It's pretty dirty. Okay. Then I use more well, water, it's still kind of wet. I usually go over the thing with the eraser like this. Uh, and I usually kind of do it with enough pressure because then you'll get some of that off. It really shines it up really good, and makes them work. Then usually when I'm done, I usually take the dry side and just kind of wipe off the excess or usually just make sure I don't have any saliva and just blow them off. And that's basically that. And then you can just put it back in there the way it was. I think it goes that way, yeah. And then you just put it back on. You just gotta line up and slide it back up. You don't, you don't, I'm not gonna remember to screw it back, to, back in because they, they pretty much stay together. Um, now with, uh, with, uh, 64 games, you need 64 and Super Nintendo and Nintendo, certain Nintendos, you need this kind of security bit. Uh, it's a 3.8 millimeter, I think. I don't know if it says on there, but I'm pretty sure that's the right. Okay, this is just me unscrewing the, I'm just unscrewing the, because my dummy 64 game is Donkey Kong 64, I oh, didn't do it long enough, before I grab it, okay, I use 64 games for, for a reason, I hope this comes off easy, yeah, okay, sure. Because you need a. Uh, uh, let me take this out. You need a standard Phillips head. Take that off. You just take it off and it just comes right off. Yeah, we'll get stuck to it too, so make sure you line it up. Try to do it like it. Don't mind the noise that there, it's just my mom. Yeah, this, this come out pretty easy. I usually turn it to get to the other one. It's the left side, it's like my bad side. Hopefully I can... Ah, oh, come on. I hate these magnetic because it gets stuck to the... But then these, these pop off. And this just pop off. Make sure you keep that because you, you don't want to 
And this old black piece. I'm gonna keep that too, cause it'll make it, it'll it'll look weird without it. I should probably clean that too, but I'm not gonna do it on the video. But you can see it's probably dirty. This time might not be this time it'll be worse. Yeah, this is pretty dirty. Mm -hmm. I, I need to clean that up, I'll do that off camera. So I'll leave that out of the room. Okay. And with Game Boy games, you need the same kind of it takes the same kind of thing. For the Nintendo. And I have okay, I have it. Uh, And these work the same way as these work the same way as um okay. oh, there it is. Okay. These work the same way as Game Boy Game Boy Advance, you just just slide off. And just pull it up. And this is pretty clean because I always keep it in, in there, so. Oops. Same thing. Okay. So put that in there better. Uh, I'll screw that back. And later, or whatever. Okay, well, she's doing that. I'll get out. Uh, and it works with Super Nintendo as well. Like, do we? Come here. Huh. Yeah, don't get the cheap metal. Like that's a gold plated ones that because they're not really gold plated they're really cheap and they wear out and that this works with that but when you take this off you also need a uh, Phillips I must have found it a standard Phillips head um, and uh, you just take them out and then it lifts off. I recommend taking this out and then it just lifts off and then you can unscrew the and the game genie if you have to clean that for the uh, Super Nintendo, Nintendo or Genesis they're usually behind the labels so kind of sucks but for Super Nintendo I just cleaned these yesterday, yesterday so I'm not going like, to totally take it apart But it just, they just come out, see, that's just to prove that they they come out. What are you laughing at me or something? What were you doing in yawning? Mm -hmm. well, I know this is boring, but I, I want to do it. Okay, there, it's tight enough for now. Okay, now, the thing I hate about, I'll get to Genesis games in a second, but the thing I hate about, uh, Tangan games is you have to puncture a hole in the back label and it uses the same kind of uh, screw bit as the Made in Mexico uh, Genesis games. So, but I really hate that they put the one of the screws right there. They, they could have put it like up here or something. I don't know. So I really hate taking this part because I like keeping my labels in good shape. At least, at least it's not on the front. I mean, the back really doesn't bother me, but, I mean, I'm kind of a stickler about that. But, um, I'll just leave that how it is. Okay, did I talk about Metroid yet? Yeah, Metroid's one of these, one of the Nintendo games that you actually have to have a flathead. Oops. Oh, like a small, oh, like they're small, and they, and, and they suck using them, because they're so small. Like she'll show you since she has small baby hands. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna just throw it. They'll, 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 they'll believe you. And just do the same process, just alcohol and rub the eraser and then just dry side, wipe it off. It'll be good. It'll be good to go. And, of course, like I said before, Nintendo games use uh, this one on my lap. You just take them out. They, they're fairly easy to take off. And then, and then you can see, uh, I don't do it. Stop trying to do it. You can't do it while you're holding the camera. But yeah, you can see it's already loosening. You can see it kind of just dangling there. I'll just tighten it back up since so, so I don't need to. Same process, just get it wet. And if you need to clean like pins on systems, use a. I use a cloth like this. I, I get kind of wet and just scrub across. That seems to work good with me. Yeah, it seems to work. It works for me. Uh -huh. So I do. I know people take like a credit card or something. And finally, with official with Genesis games that have like USA, main USA, or what's this thing? Uh, assembled in or made in Japan. I'll say made in Japan on the back. You know, I, uh, most of the official ones say made in Japan or made in USA. But you do use uh, this one. The uh, four point, I forget what the size is, I think it's like 4.3 or something. And this also takes for systems, like Super Nintendo, the uh, 64, the Nomad, the one security screw that's in there. Genesis games are in there tight, like this one's in there tight. Like, I really have to push to get this out. But yeah, it's already coming out. Yeah, I'll take it off, I'll take it off real quick, just... Because I, I doubt this one's dirty, but I'll just show one one more process of going through. Do 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 do. I mean, I like these, but they're cool. To, they're cool to look at. Because when I got these, I, I like taking them apart. It's neat to look at. I've always wanted to take a part. I got it. I was getting it. So impatient. Yeah, this one's not dirty at all. Like, I don't even really need to do anything with it. You can see it shine. I mean, that side's kind of dirty a little bit, but not horrible, yeah. I could probably go over it a little bit. Yeah, join the club. There you know how I feel. Okay, let me just do one more little clean. Just just to give you one more little process of what I do. And make sure you don't do it too rough either. I didn't really get that one that way because... Oh yeah, make sure uh, the alcohol is like 70% at least. The less water in there, the high, the better though. So, really you're supposed to use like... I've, I've heard 94, but this, this, this works. Yeah, nothing's coming off. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing coming off. Oh yeah, there's nothing coming off. I'll just dry it off real quick. So yeah, there's really nothing coming off of this one. I'm just using my shirt to dry it off quicker. Um, so yeah, like I said, I, I recommend anytime you play cartridge-based systems, Clean your games at least like once um, a month at least. I should probably go through and clean them all again, like the ones that are loose. I have, but most of my box games, like all my box games for Nintendo and Super Nintendo, I have dust covers, so they usually stay pretty clean. Mm -hmm. But clean your systems is. As well as you can, like as soon if you buy a Super Nintendo from like a flea market or off of eBay or something, they, make sure you clean them because they're most likely dirty. Because at the flea market, I've seen I've seen Super Nintendo that are really nasty and dirty looking. I could 
probably use a good clean. I don't even know if they work with the one I saw one time. It's pretty nasty looking. But I mean, yeah, that, that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, that's that's my method of doing this. There's other methods of cleaning. I've seen people use brasso and stuff, but I, I think that would be true of braces. I hate jazz screws. Cause you really hate that like press, and I can't really press them. We'll, 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 we'll get it later, but they're, 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 some of them are hard because they have these like so like really hard silver tips, and you have to like press down and turn. So yeah, that was basically it. I basically showed all all the types of screws that I know that you need, especially the main Mexico. Like I said, any game. Forgot the second chances that has made Mexico on the box on the card anywhere would have that kind of bit. I'm not sure of the name. If I find the name out, I'll put it in an annotation or something. But supplies you'll need again are the eraser, plastic one, a plastic one, not a rubber one. Don't use rubber because I have before and it, it makes them dirtier. It's too abrasive. Uh -huh. And I used rubber for a while, but then I moved to plastic because it's better. And alcohol, 70%. Make sure, you, make sure you don't drink it or nothing weird. Make sure you don't be like huffing it or something when you're doing it. Oh yeah, and if you can, wear gloves too. Gloves are always good. Because I've cut myself a couple times uh -huh. on some of the boards. And... Alcohol burns it and cleans it out, but whatever. Just wear, wear gloves and make sure you safe when you do it. Don't don't be like don't be like me. Put put the boards on your bare leg or your bare skin, face down, or it'll prick your skin. Because I've actually cut myself before holding them, so uh, you just want to be careful when you do it and make sure you don't like. Bend the boards when you, while you're cleaning them, while, while you're holding them. Don't hold them too tight. Don't try to bend them. You don't want to snap them. But I'm sure you guys knew that. But that's basically my method of cleaning. If you guys have any questions about where I got all this stuff, or you can't find anything, let me know. Most of these, like these, these two and this one, I got on Amazon. This, you don't know I need to just get a standard screwdriver that has a Phillips head, but this is the easiest one I can find. And these you can probably just get a hardware store somewhere. Probably like a dollar or something, I don't know. Depends where you find them. But yeah, that's my method of cleaning all my cartridge games. And one more thing before I forget. Um, for like Atari games and stuff, usually the, they're like Phillips head screwdriver, screws, I said screwdrivers, screws, but they're behind the label, so you have to like damage the label, so I wouldn't even bother taking those apart, unless you don't care about the labels, but most collectors do, because I, I forget what game it was, and I tried, but I think it was Pitfall, and I was looking, and when it was like, oh, it's behind the label, I was like, oh, crap, I did it, because they don't care about that's all it is, but and it wasn't that dirty actually. It had a spider web in it, but other than that, it was relatively clean for being old. But yeah, if, so just be wary that some some things to take apart you'll have to damage the labels some way. So if you don't want to damage the labels, don't take those games apart and just clean them with one with Q-tip and alcohol, and that should do that should do you well enough. Uh, so thanks for watching. Okay, guys, I forgot I forgot to mention something in in the video. So this is a little, um, I guess, uh, add on to it because I forgot to mention about Famicom and Super Famicom and then Japanese Mega Drive, how to clean them. But now with Mega Drive, if you want if you want to take these apart, which I really don't, because you have to take off. This back label, the, the screws right here, and right here is where uh, 
the standard uh, Phillips head screwdriver is. You know, you know what a Phillips head screw is. And you just unscrew it, it lifts right off. But I wouldn't recommend it because if you're a collector, you don't want to you don't want to tear that label because there's really no way to get to it without peeling it. I did it with uh, my loose copy of Golden X3 I had, but I sold. I did it with that to clean it real good. Now with the Super Van it's the same as a, it's the same as a Super Nintendo. You just need one of these. It just fits it. It actually fits in nicer than it does with. See, it just comes right out. Well, I'll just do it a little bit. You can only see it's lifting. Okay, so I'm just going to tighten it back up. Because I already cleaned this. The other night. And that is uh, Castlevania Dracula, Dracula X. I really wish I had the box. Because I have the Japanese version of Super Castlevania 4 boxed. But I don't have this one boxed. Okay. Now, Famicom is a different story. You do not want to try to take these apart. Just use Q-tip and alcohol because there's no way to get these apart. Oh, well, that's a little wrong. Because there's no way to put, there's no kind of screw on there. You literally have, people call it pull and pray. You literally have to, like, take it and just pull it. So what I, what I have here to show you is a pirated card of Batman. I can actually show you how to do it. Okay, let me, let me up, hold it from like up here and then kind of just let, let me, let me, let me, see it, it's hard to do. Now it's not coming apart. I, sn I, sn I had it before the video, and now it's like coming apart. Because I think I snapped it together too tight. Let me try one more time. Oh. <sighs> well, it's not coming out, and I'm not, I'm not going to try it. But it does work because I have done it before. Mm -hmm. uh, we get one more shot. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna come out, and I'm not gonna just break it, even though it's a pirated card. But all you do is just pull it out and try not to make because there's like four of hands that hold the card together, and those can break off if you do it. So. They really, people really don't recommend you have like, like a vice strip and like squeeze it together. And it'll eventually lift it up and the plastic showing you just kind of jimmy it open. But, I mean you really don't need to. Because it works. Here I'll show you real quick. How to, what I mean by just, because this is probably pretty dry and it's probably clean anyway. So I'm just going to do it real quick. With the color trick, because I haven't cleaned it in a while. You just take the alcohol, get it nice and wet. Not too wet, though. Okay, and then you just want to kind of get as deep in there as you can. Yeah, it's not really that dirty, really. Now the weird thing is that with the converter, you can converters you can buy, you can clean those fairly easily by taking them apart. But yeah, I mean this this way works. See, it's not really even that dirty. I mean, just do that and then do it again and then take the dry side and just, oops. I really don't want to risk breaking this because this is pretty rare. It's Rise or Contra Japanese and that's the only Contra I have for NES. I used to have the English version but I sold it a long time ago. So uh um so yeah. Thanks for watching the video and sorry I forgot about that crap.
Uh, that's how I slept my mind, but thanks for watching.